Hey guys, how's everything going? Let's take a look at number 1053. Previous permutation with one swap. Given an array of positive integers, not necessarily distinct. Hmm, this is a warning. Return the lexicographically largest permutation. That is smaller than A. That can be made with one swap. If it cannot be done, then return the same array. Example, 2, 3, 2, 1. So, the permutation that is just smaller than it, than it would be swap 1, 2, right? Yeah, so keep the left part as longest as we can. Okay, 1, 1, 5. Wow, this is smallest. There's no need, there is no, nothing we can do. And this one, 1, 9, 4, 6, 7. Obviously, for the right part, it's four, six, seven. There's nothing we can swap here, right? Anything we change, it's it's smallest. Anything we change, it will make it bigger. And then we met nine. Is if you look it from the right, from right. There is nine, and uh, the maximum will be seven here. And switch, swap it at one seven for six nine. Your gang 3113. This is smallest. Now we need to swap this one with 3. Well, if there is a, a duplicate number, then just a swipe, swap the leftmost one. So, from these four examples, we can know that if we can do some, do some swapping. It means that there must be some downward slope, right? If it's always upward slope, there's nothing we can do. So we need to find the rightmost downward slope. So that could be deducted from by looping through the array from right. For take this for example, six, seven, six, four, and then we made nine. Okay, this is the first slope. It means we should do the swapping here and swap something with 9 but what to swap we we need to keep it close as close to the current in input as possible so we need to swap this number with the maximum number to in the right but it's smaller than it right as we as already discussed this is the first upward, uh, downward slope we, we meet. So the right, so right part must, must be ascending, right? So we could just uh, search from the index here, where the first downward slope is met, and do it uh, and search from left to right, and find the maximum number, uh, which is just smaller than it, and uh, swap that. For the example here, we do the same. We met the first slope uh, here. So we search from this one and find the largest number, which is smaller than three. Well, it's one itself, but it's the, it's uh, two, two same numbers. So we swip, uh, swap this one. Well, so the, the, uh, the solution just is, became obvious to us. Uh, we First is find the slope. First down down upward, okay? Upward. I mean from right to left find the first upward slope. And then from left to right search for the largest but smaller than search for the the largest number which is not larger than than next than the slope swap yeah okay so Let's uh, for the first one. It's very simple. We just uh, do 
loop through the array from right. And if if AI is smaller than A minus one, then it, it means we made a slope, right? Okay, now we made a slope. The second step, we search for the largest number. Uh, okay, so it would be uh, let j equals i, which starts from i, while a j is, we could start from a plus 1, because a i, i itself is smaller, smaller than the slope, it's, it could be skipped. So, while it's uh, smaller than a the slope, we plus it. We plus one, right? But when we when we finish the check, the a j might be equal to the previous one. So that we need to actually keep track of the maximum index. So which means max uh, target, I think. It's J. Oh, no, it's I. If AJ is not equal to AJ minus one, it means there's a new number that could be the target. So we update the target. It's J. Now, Everything is done. We find the first uh, first uh, slope. We need to break. And then we need to, to swap, right? As we learned in last video, we need to split the function as small, small as possible. So I'll say I'll create another function called swap uh, a i minus one with target. This swap will, will swap will be defined as uh, no Okay, so the swap is done, and finally, we can return A. Before we submit, we let's check it one more time. For this number, uh, we for find the first slope at i equals to 2. Target is 2, and then we loop through, we start assert, oh no, the first slope is 1. Okay, and uh, while, ooh, yeah, you see, we find some bugs here. While ij is smaller than it, this is true, and ij doesn't, oh, oh no, a j, j is i plus 1, so it's actually undefined. Well, this is false, so yeah, it's, it's stopped. Okay, and then we swap 2 with 1, cool. For this one, we, we couldn't find any slope. Right? Uh, yeah, so at last we return A. It's okay. Now, this example, we find the first loop at 4. We start searching for the target from 6. Uh, 6 is smaller than 9. And so we update target to 6. And then 7. 7 is smaller than 9. So we update it to target. Finally, we swap it. Cool. Now, this one, we find the first loop at 1. We search for the target from this one. This is smaller than 3, but it's the same as previous one, so we didn't update the target. target. So finally, uh, 3, this slope and will be swapped with uh, the target, and uh, it's break, and uh, at last we return A. So it should work. Yes, let's submit. Cool, we're accepted. 
And this is actually not something that uh, not that complicated, but uh, just to uh, analyze the example and find the characteristic of. Ah. Mm. So for this problem, the characteristic would be uh, thinking from right to left and find the first slope. Yeah. Cool. So that's all for this video. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.